Now let's uh, look at converting uh, decimal numbers into binary numbers. Let's put down the number 65 here. And what's it going to equal to in binary? Well, do we have a 65 in our numbers up here? Now we've got 128 and 64, but 64 is less than 65. So let's put down 0, 1, set that 64. We're not going to set the 32. We're not going to set the 16. We're not going to set the 8. We're not going to set the 4. We're not going to set the 2, but we'll set the 1. So this becomes our number. We can come up here and set these up here. We'll set the 64. And we'll set the 1. There we got it. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 zeros, and another 1, 65. Now let's uh, let's do another one. How about a hundred and thirty-two? Take a look at that. Now obviously we're going to have to set the one twenty-eight. So we'll set that. Now how much is left from one twenty-eight? Let's go ahead and put a zero back in here for the sixty-four and our one. Let's see if we subtract 128 from 32, how much do we have? Looks like we have 4, so all we need left here is 4. Now we can represent any number from 0 to 255, because if we set all of these high, the largest number that we'll have is 255. And we can prove that by adding all these together. And let's do that. 28 and 64, that's 192. Add 32 more, that's 224. Add 16, 240. Add 8 more, 248. 4 more, 252. 2 more, 254. And 1 more, 255. So that's the largest 8-bit uh, binary number that we can represent with 8 bits. Uh, next we're going to talk about hexadecimal. And hexadecimal is another numbering system. It's called a base 16 numbering system. System. Thank you very much.